for sale is my Palomino Bronco camper. It's from the 90s. Not sure the exact year. Um, it has been modified to fit inside a second generation Tundra. The steps on the bot, the boards on the bottom of the camper. And it has been reinforced right here to really crank down on your chains to uh, make sure you can go down some rougher roads. And all this bracketry was also to help with the cranking down of the front chains on the truck to make sure it's a more rigid camper and uh, less to worry about on um, bumpy roads. And then coming around to the back, you can see it's a full size door, so you don't have to worry about bonking your head. And then here's a peek at the other side. Over here is the access panels for the side of your truck. There's one on each side. They open up and attach right there. Now this gives you access, as you can see in the photos, to the side of the truck bed. That makes it so it's easier to um, have extra gear with you, camp chairs, inflatable kayaks and such fit on the side of the truck really nicely, firewood. Um, right here is a drain for the cooler. We'll get to that inside in a second. Then over here on this side, it's hard to see under the camper, but and there's a blue hose that ends up coming out out of the back of the camper. That is for the sink, and we'll get to that in a second as well. This is a seven pin connector um, camper. It will charge when driving down the road if your truck is equipped with seven pin um, out the back of your truck. Um, over here is, we call this the bathroom. This is a little vanity mirror and a little place to keep your toiletries and toothbrushes, face wash, stuff like that. Here's where the fridge used to be. It is no longer there. I removed the fridge and added these two shelves and these nice slide out cupboards. These slide out cupboards are what we use for our food. There's also room on the side. It fits a whiskey, bo uh, a whiskey bottle quite nicely. Here's another um, drawer on the top. We usually camp for five days at a time and this is always more than enough space for food for five days. Um, over here we do have the sink. Sink here is just a pump sink. You just pump, pump, pump to get your water out. So it's good for washing dishes. It takes a little time, but you get used to it. Um, the water tank goes right underneath it. It's four gallons. That's usually also enough for washing dishes for an entire five days. Just having that thing full. This is just cover for the sink. Give you a little more counter space. It's got some nicks in it. Um, thermostat's right there. Goes to the heater over here. The heater is a manual light. You do have to light the pilot, but it stay, stays lit. I had it repaired three years ago because um, the pilot light would blow out, but it works great now. Um, over here, we got some overhead cabinets. Um, we use this for mainly coffee cups in the coffee maker and uh, various um, camping plates and bowls. And then over in this cabinet, we got um, three drawers, nice for all your stuff, fits uh, plates in the, in the drawers really nicely as well. And then uh, we just have a little storage cubby here. Other side of here is the propane tank, that's why this is such a shallow cupboard. We also have a little storage shell here, which is where we would keep our first aid kits and our um, hammocks. It's a great little storage spot. Uh, over here, this is the, since the refrigerator was removed, this is the cooler. I did extend this cabinet a little bit and sunk this cooler in there and put spray foam all the way around it. I do call it the poor man's cooler, poor man's Yeti. Let me latch this real quick. There's a little latch to hold the door open. Um, this cooler will hold ice, an ice block for five to six days and keep all the food cold for that long. We have checked it with a thermometer. It works great. Um... And if you were to use cubed ice, there's that drain right there, which goes out the back of the, which ends up on the side of the truck, in the back of the truck. So the cooler works great for, um, perfect for weekends or extended weekend trips. Over here is another cabinet. Um, we put a couple of simple drawers in it. This one's good for tin foils and um, Ziploc bags and stuff. We got a little drawer here to get access down there. The battery is located in here. I have topped off the battery on my trickle charger and made sure it's all good to go. It does come apart. It's fairly easy to get to the battery. Now here's one of the nicest parts about one of these campers. Here's the bed. Um, it was replaced with a 
a, a pure latex bed. It's pretty comfortable. It does a good job for how thin it is. Um, it fits me and my wife. We're smaller. It fits us great, and it's uh, pretty comfortable. And then, hold on one second here. The, the bed does lift up. This is one of the best parts. Let me set the pole here. Bed lifts up and it leaves you room for storage. This is where we keep our clothes. We just keep our clothes in the camper at all times. Really convenient, uh, nice place. Keep your clothes ready, easy access. You can grab, you can reach all the way to the back bin here. Just fine. Really, really convenient part about a uh, uh, pop-up camp truck in the camper. And then here we got a couple of tables that I designed. Um, they swivel around really nicely, leave you room, leave you room to get into your sitting arrangement. This one does the same thing, also pivot. Ooh, excuse the noise. This makes it so you can come in down here and sit next to here, move tables around. You can have one table out, you can have two tables out. Um, it's a nice system to make sure you have room to get in and out of here. Before it was just one solid table and it actually made it really difficult to sit down. Um, now over here, uh, I do have an attachment down here. I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna put the bed together. All right, and now uh, I have transformed it into a bed with that extra piece that stays firmly attached to the wall. Um, and as you can see underneath here, this is the, the, fir the, the other small table makes it into a bed and the small green tables attached to the side of the wall and are held in with these little clips so you can leave the bed down and still drive the poles just go there on the floor so it leaves you plenty of room in the camper but also leaves you room for your dog or uh, a friend that's also riding with you and back over here i got a couple of bags for shoes you can either put the shoes under the bed up there or put them in these bags it makes it nice get your shoes a little easier access and out of the way there's also a little door here this door is access to the side of the truck so you can get to the stuff stored on the left hand side of the truck i did have to remove the other door for the bed reasons but um this makes it really nice to get to your things on the side of your truck yoga mats more camp chairs um, sh yeah, awning structures, anything like that. There's a little cabinet right here. This is just small storage. We would keep our decks of cards in here and uh, other small miscellaneous items. This is also where the crank handle lives. That's what brings the roof up and down. It's very easy to bring up and down. And uh, the lift mechanism still works great on this camper. Um, all the windows work. All the zippers work great. Um, the All the shades are just by a little piece of Velcro and this piece of canvas rolls down. Um, it keeps an okay amount of sunlight out. Um, all of the tint and the, the part that keeps the weather out, they are zippers. And like I said, they work great. No problems with the zippers on these. Um, there is a tear in one of them. It's been covered up with clear Gorilla tape and the, the patch holds just great. Um, there is holes in all the screens. They've all been repaired by either stitching right here most of them have been stitched closed and the stitching is holding up really nicely there's a couple that were unstitchable and they have a um it's a screen repair tape and it's it works really well it's on a few spots on the rest of the canvas all right and then last thing i can think of um we got three lights Lights up pretty good in here, definitely enough to do anything you'd want to do inside the camper. There is a ceiling vent, it's a crank, um, opens that far, and the crank, the ceiling vent is actually attached. Uh, it has a box over top of it, and that box makes it so you can leave the vent open driving down the road, get some airflow in the camper when you're just driving, um, and it doesn't hurt the vent at all. That device can be taken off the roof very easily if you didn't want that there. Otherwise, that's all to show on the camper. Thanks for looking at my camper and um, have a nice day.